We're back at it once again today, looking for a rare rooster pheasant out here on Rancho del Arroyo, and my theory is, with Reventuli Coast on the horizon, at least hunting pheasants is a little bit of practice for the upcoming waterfowl and waterfowl rework. From what we've seen on EW's live streams, in particular ducks, but all the uh, all the new species seem to be pretty difficult to hit. So I think practicing with pheasants is going to be a good thing, and. I'm thinking the 16 gauge, because we're not getting a new weapon with the new map, is going to maybe be at least the best duck gun. So we've got that again today, and who knows, maybe we can get our rare rooster pheasant as well as some practice in. That is certainly a good sign, a max weight estimate pheasant. The question is, where actually is he? So this is a weird time. Um, I started this hunt at about 1400. I believe pheasants have an afternoon feed time. and. I just wanted to switch it up, see if we encounter pheasants in different areas, maybe see ones that we normally otherwise would not. And this zone ended just a couple of moments ago, so maybe this is the one they called, maybe he's not far away. The question is, where has he gone? I think, unfortunately, that is our guy. Level 2 once again, and uh, that's been a consistent theme, you know, we have not had a level 3 yet, and of course that is not the ultimate goal here anyway, but... Much like with the Great One grinds, I just like to see diamonds and feel like we are making progress when we're grinding for a rare. Technically, he would have a chance of being a level 2 diamond. As soon as I see that kind of wing flapping thing when they're trotting, I kind of get a feeling they're going to end up flushing. Hopefully he'll let us get closer, but he hasn't found a spot to just kind of hunker down and hide yet. I mean, he's still here. I don't know why this happens. This part can be a little frustrating with pheasant hunting, and honestly if it wasn't a potential diamond I'd just shoot it on the ground and get the respawn, but we need him to flush just in case, and at least you know, as far as the whole practicing for future waterfowl goes, I felt pretty good about getting on target even through the trees there, and by the way as we go to track this guy real quick, I always feel compelled to say this, anytime that Reventuli uh, gets mentioned there still is no confirmed release date for that, just we can only assume it is coming uh, as soon as they can get it ready. So, as for our first pheasant of the hunt, 18.4, basically at the bottom end of what you can get for a max weight estimate pheasant, but definitely good to see a max weight to get started here. Well, that doesn't look too bad. 16 to 19 on a gray rooster, and uh, I guess there's not a whole lot of target acquisition to do when it does kind of flush straight forward, but That'll be a guaranteed gold, and uh, we do have, thinking on maybe other goals to attempt to accomplish as we are hunting pheasants, we do have at least one of the common diamonds, I assume we have a brown uh, plumage type as well, they both used to be called common, I'm not sure if we have both, and then we also have a molting diamond, but a grey plumage type diamond would be cool as well, maybe we could get so lucky to encounter one on this grind. I think I am officially of the opinion that probably the afternoon idea maybe wasn't the best. I want to say that second shot hit. Now there is another rooster pheasant calling, but we're really not encountering as many as I would have liked to, and generally speaking, since we began this grind, the early morning hunts have produced pretty consistent roosters up until about 8am, so I think maybe after we go and find this one and ideally we can get that other one too that called, we'll probably switch to what we know best in the morning. I don't know if that's the same rooster, but at least we got to this one a solid 12.6 score with one pellet hitting it there at 50 meters, locked out to even get him. And at least we have a direction to kind of move in here. Hopefully, I think that might help us, that is a hen, but I would assume the rooster's with it. Well, there is a molting rooster, which would match the track that we got. Up to 16 score estimate, another rooster coming out of there. That is always good to see. I really like this 16 gauge when we don't have to shoot through trees. It does so well, and the, the pump action really... It doesn't slow you down much in comparison to the semi-automatic uh, 20 gauges, but no idea what this is. Ooh, not again, <laughs> man. Man, we have had three 
rooster pheasants, but no diamonds when diamond is 20.3. Eventually it has to happen, but that is rough. Just real quick, by the way, they do have a 1400 to 1800 feed zone. I don't know. It's 1700 now. I guess we'll stick with this for a little bit longer. Just maybe see if we were hunting the wrong areas earlier. Maybe that was the right move. And once again, by the way, this zone has produced a 2 to 3 kg pheasant. And I'll show it on the map in a moment, but I'm a little bit afraid that it may take off early, which ironically enough has been far from the issue we've faced so far today. Normally they are taking forever to even flush. But the last thing I want is to have to chase one forever to get the respawn when we could just make the shot by staying focused here. So not a good area. That's the level one. We've done that on occasion. I like to just shoot the smaller ones on the ground. If there is a good one that I'd rather focus on, there's no point missing out on a respawn of something that would otherwise be a silver. This is just getting a, a little frustrating though. I mean, that was graceful, but if we could actually get a shot at this guy, that would be nice. Took a little while, but got it done. Got two more roosters, so maybe this kind of afternoon time there is something to it if we're in the right areas, but again, there's a chance with this one. 18.5 though, kind of more in the category of the first vessel we shot. Nice size gold, but far from being a level two diamond, which is starting to look more and more elusive. Well, apparently a quick break from pheasant. We have a pretty good sized mule deer out here. And this is something, whether it is mule deer or whitetail, turkeys, anytime there's a good sized animal of any of these species, I try to take them during this grind, not only because in the case of something like the mule deer or very often the turkeys, you could get a diamond when you don't expect it. The other side is the respawns. One of the tougher things about any grind in my opinion is maybe once you've done the first 10 runs or so, you kind of get it down and you may encounter some max level animals or rares of other species that happen to be in that same area. but. After a while, if you're only shooting the same species over and over, you never really see a whole lot of anything else, and if there is one or two trophies, you get them, and that's about it. So, I like to get stuff like this for future respawns in hopes that maybe we can get something else cool along the way, but a 286.1 hard shot at 150 meters, and at the very least, that'll kind of let us get into the brighter part of the morning. We're well into broad daylight by now, but another pretty decent estimate pheasant and it looks like at least this time we're not dealing with one that is just staying stuck forever kind of in the brush i'm pretty sure we hit the second shot and we definitely hit that one it's always kind of tough especially when they're flying at certain angles or at certain distances it can be tough to tell if you got a hit and of course more than two hits actually causes an issue if you care about the metal and in this case Maybe a gold. In fact, he is a gold at 16.9. Oh. That second shot did not hit, so that's kind of the other side of the argument. It's important to know if you did hit them or not. Because just thinking you hit them and letting them fly away obviously isn't good. But hitting them more than two times also is kind of problematic, I guess. If it's not a level three or whatever, better safe than sorry. Make sure that it goes down. But... I'm glad we took that last shot. It's always so cool to get the warning calls from the rooster pheasants because you know that you're going to run over there and have some kind of fairly quick encounter. And every time I'm picking up a track, I'm checking the map, seeing if it's a, a rare plumage type. And uh, thus far, obviously, we've not had that. But I think that's one thing that makes it stand out from other grinds and perhaps the reason why I continue to feel compelled to come back here. It's always very kind of quick action, short range, quick make a decision, get on target, and make the shot. And to kind of tie back that back to the beginning, that will, I think, translate into duck hunting over on Revan to the Coast eventually when we get the opportunity to do that. As for now, interesting those tracks are run tracks. I wonder... Could there have been like two separate groups of pheasants? I don't understand why he wouldn't have flushed, but what kind of indicates he did? Maybe just from 
farther away. I am intentionally not going to spot this pheasant because I think this is going to be our last kill regardless. And uh, maybe a little bit like Goose Roulette that we've done over on Hirschfelden, it could be interesting to go in completely blind and kind of see what we are going to end up with. Now, obviously not a rare, and uh, there are good reasons to spot pheasants because it's good to know where they stop fleeing to, but I'm pretty sure, or we could just find them like that, but if we just kept on following those tracks, we could get there eventually. So uh, what we need to do is not be bad at shooting. And uh, I'm kind of surprised. Actually, there were two roosters. Maybe we can get that one too. I don't know if that hit. We may need to spot a second one, but at least the first one should be down. That's actually him right there. I think we can probably get him. And we'll just go back and claim our other one. I'm really, I, I don't know why, but really trying not to spot these things to maybe be pleasantly surprised by something. So rooster number one is laying right here. 14.6 silver level two. That's probably one of those ones where the score estimate would have given him a chance of being gold. So rather than being disappointed, we just kind of had no idea what we were getting into. And for our last chance at a trophy pheasant today, our second one out of this flock, fingers crossed, 14.3. Not the most interesting pheasants to wrap up with, but shot quite a few today. I would say overall about 20 again. That was what we had last time in, in the same way as the last video. Some ones kind of like towards the middle of the hunt, level ones and stuff like that get cut out. But the progress is obviously good and I'm just hopeful that we can get this done before the release of the new map and I guess because basically everything is getting reset if we don't get it done I'm sure we'll go out here and, and check out Rancho fairly soon afterwards to see if anything is here from initial spawns but I'd love to get it from a grind especially when we have put in this much time it'd be cool to get one that way and again with the 20.2 scoring pheasant I hope that we can finally break that 20.3 mark next time and at least get a diamond if we don't get ourselves a rare. But anyway, that is going to do it for this video, so thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.